Legend the way, so dubs on the run. No turtle is safe when he's on the hunt. Witness the sack, just give it a rub. Cause who knows what you'll find? Toy hunting with dub. Hey friends, welcome to a Wednesday hunt video. And it is mid-July, and here in Georgia, that means it's very hot, which means using the hashtag BeatUpFit is probably better served inside. We've also had a lot of rain, but don't forget to use the hashtag BeatUpFit. Uh, I really want to start walking the puppy more, but almost the entire time, <laughs> you can hear him right now, the sun is up. Uh, it's just not safe for, for his paws, because we've been feels like 108, 110 temps like that, which means the... You know, the sidewalk, the concrete, even the hot grass is like 90 degrees. It's not good. And uh, the pavement stuff is like 140, feels like. So, I'm trying to be careful. Oh, Rufus. Uh, but it is Wednesday hunt video. Uh, I'm filming this on a Saturday. We, we won't film Dub Life this weekend. I'm actually ahead on Dub Life. So, you'll get a little chronologically confused with uh, the Big Dub channel this week. Uh, you saw the first half of the video of Steve's weekend here. You saw the hunt videos with Steve. Uh, the second half of that video will come on this Sunday coming up in the next episode of Dub Life where uh, you'll see 4th of July celebration and some other stuff uh, that we did with Steve. You saw a lot of Cuphead with Steve and eating weird stuff. I'm happy to report that Natalie and I defeated Cuphead uh, yesterday. And yeah, Natalie's right over there. Um, actually, I would say it is all four of us because there are levels that I beat by myself. There are levels that Kai and I beat. There are levels that Steve and I beat. And there are levels that Natalie and I beat. But there's a 100% file on my file for Cuphead. Uh, I still got some DLC to beat, but I uh, feel good about that. Uh, Natalie delivered the final blow to the devil. Our strategy was well, she needs to stay alive because she's a little better at platforming than I am. And I just tried to inflict massive damage, which is forever been my strategy in video games if you ask my older sister kim who i grew up playing video games with she's like you just go beat the boss and hit him with the sword over and over again this this wasn't a thing then but you know leroy jenkins style and the other person stay alive and make sure they get credit for the win so that's how that happened and it was good sorry for the light there uh but for this wednesday hunt video i'm gonna be by myself i'm gonna run just to a walmart and target i'd like to find the new gi joe that are coming out uh maybe we'll have luck maybe we won't speaking of which I do have the Fortnite Snake Eyes from Hasbro, the Hasbro Pulse that came in, I think a year and a half after I pre-ordered it. I did pre-order two, because I've got an inbox and an open of every G.I. Joe figure. This isn't classified number, so do I care? I don't know. I see a lot of people already selling those. Um, I'll probably open it up and uh, keep the other one sealed, but I don't know. I have picked those up. Um, but hopefully we'll find some G.I. Joe. Then later today, which will be the Friday hunt video, uh, Victoria's here, the girls and I, we're going to go see Thor, Love and Thunder. We'll give you our thoughts on that. So that'll happen in a hunt video as opposed to Dub Life. Uh, and um, we'll go somewhere else on another hunt. I've also put up some bonus content last week. Hope you enjoyed that. We'll probably have a Puppy Dub Life coming up soon. Uh, maybe it's already come up because we do have a pup box, but it's been raining outside, so it's hard to film it. Um, so all of those things are good things. Uh, and we are under 80, away from 5,000. We want to give stuff away and get out of the garage. So please subscribe if you haven't. Uh, and then you'll find details about how we will give away $500 worth of stuff. Um, and also use the Big Bad Toy Store link below if you haven't. Just click it, browse it. Don't got to buy anything. If you do use it to pre-order, great. Helps the channel a lot. I appreciate that. So let's get started. We're going to start first at Target. And we'll go to Walmart. And hopefully we'll find some G.I. Joe. Tomorrow we can drive around this town Hit up NECA Funko sections That doesn't really rhyme, but hey I'm in the car I'm pivoting a little bit I was going to go to Target first I am going to go to Walmart first I uh, was uh, needed to go to Target Because the I needed gas, fuel Which is a terrible, <laughs> terrible thing to need right now And uh, I was going to go to the Kroger gas station Because I I succumbed and got the Kroger Elite Reward something or other credit card, which if you spend 100 fuel points, which just means you spend $100 at Kroger or something like that, it's not hard to get because where we get groceries. Uh, for a full year, you save 60 cents a gallon, which adds up. So they got me with that. So I get my, I get my gas at Kroger anyway because it's in the same shopping center as kickboxing and whatever else, uh, the UPS store. And of course, Kroger. Uh, so I was getting gas. That's on the way to Target. 
but Natalie borrowed my car and she filled up my tank. I didn't realize that. Thank you, babe. Uh, that's a big thank you. That's an expensive thank you these days. And uh, so now I'm going to go to Walmart first because it's actually a better route to go to Walmart first than Target. Plus, I have something to drop in the mail. Uh, Kaya sold a uh, Switch game on eBay. Again, if you have not, I think I have my link to our eBay page in the description. Uh, Kaya's got a bunch of stuff for sale there. I got a few things for sale. We're going to keep posting stuff. Uh, if you saw on Saturday my bonus top 10 reasons we collect and we continue to collect, I'm trying to put out some bonus content drive toward the 5,000 subscribers. Uh, and I'm thinking about doing some top 10, so let me know if you like that, if you're interested in that. I put out my top 10 of the collection mid through midway through 2022. That's normal. I normally put that video out. But I also put uh, top 10 while we collect. I thought that was interesting. Uh, I know it's long. I, I tend to talk a lot. But let me know if you like that. Anyway, uh, I talked about how one of, the, one of the things that I think makes me grow a collection so fast, I just like to buy, um, which is not a great thing. But I end up with duplicates and triplicates and, and quad of so many things uh, that I probably am never going to display like one in the, the package or I buy collections. People are selling collections not to not for me to sell or David and I sell, but they just have duplicates of my mindset is, oh, if I want to take pictures, I need to have a bunch of NECA turtles that aren't in the display so I can take pictures and I don't have to disrupt the display. That's stupid. That's not a good use of money, but it's what I do. And so I think I'm going to start selling some of that stuff off that, you know, if I've got three of a figure, why? Let's get rid of it. So sell on eBay. Um, I'm not going to, I'm probably not going to mess too much with Facebook or Mercari or anything. I don't want to compete with what David and I do, what Mike does, OG Geek, Slap Happy. Um, it, it's just stuff out the personal collection that I'll just sell through my personal email page and, and get out of here. Uh, so check that out. But I do have a package to drop off at the mailbox or at the, at the post office for uh, uh, somebody bought one of Kaya's Switch games. It also gives Kaya an avenue to sell stuff she doesn't want anymore. I can do it for make a little bit of money. I know there are other platforms that you may make a little more, but eBay just is the broadest platform. has the biggest reach. Things sell the fastest there. And in this case, I'm not trying to... Oh, you can also maximize your dollar there, compared, especially compared to like whatnot. Um, I don't care about the fees. I just want to get it out, make a few bucks recoup a few bucks. I'm not making anything. I'm selling things at a loss. But you can check that out. I don't know why I just told you all that, but I'm going to Walmart first instead of Target. That was the whole point of that soliloquy was I'm going to Walmart first. See, it's pretty yucky. I'm at Walmart now, finally. Uh, we've had a lot of thunderstorms the last four or five days. Pretty bad ones. Like, really bad ones, actually. Keep you up all night. Shake the house. Boom and thunder. Uh, Rufus is done okay with it, though. I thought he might be scared. He didn't seem to be terribly scared of the fireworks. He didn't love them, but he wasn't like crying and barking and whimpering. He would just kind of look up and then kind of move closer to us, but he wasn't like terrified. He just didn't like it. I think it was disconcerting for him. But we've had a lot of rain, so it's been yucky. I'm glad it stopped. It was like thunderstorming just an hour ago when I thought I was gonna leave. I thought we we're going to film this in the rain, but we are not. Let's see how they got GI Joes here. I'm hopeful. I, I want that storm shadow and spirit. I want to find them. Jurassic World. Standy. I don't think any of those are new. Lego. Look at that Minecraft saber wing. Nerf thing. I've seen those those like airsoft places in the malls around me that I've shown. They're starting to have like nerf battles. You can use those obstacle courses for nerf battles. That could be a thing I could go do. Get the boys. Bring all our nerf guns we got for the castle and go to that. I think that could be enjoyable. Let's see. Mando helmet. Let's see if there's anything new on the Lego. Uh, Mattel Creations put up the Mega Construct Snake Mountain. I do not know if that's Mattel Creations exclusive. I hope not, because I don't want to buy it there. I'd rather find it in a store or buy it on Amazon. Oh, I don't know what happened there? That's a new. No. I'm just tired of fronting all this money like I've been talking about. It doesn't look like there's any Snake Mountain there with the Mega Construct section. But all these companies, they're moving to online pre-orders, which I'm fine with. But online pay in full, get your stuff later pre-orders. I ain't buying all my toys that way. I'm just not. I can't do it. I got too much money outstanding. You see that Walmart employee right there? She's hanging loofahs on a hanging section in the toys. Like, so this. 
this type of hanging thing. See, oh, those are bath bombs, but they're light up bath bomb. She's hanging loofahs for the shower in the toy section, not, oh, these are hand wipes. Huh. Oh, there's loofahs here. Oh, because they're Star Wars. I just thought Walmart had decided that collectors need to take more showers and so they were gonna start putting cleaning, uh, bathing products, hygiene products in the toy aisle. That's what I thought was happening. Oh, the speaker of doom. No hygiene products. What is this? Oh, well, that's just here. I thought that was, uh, those are smaller than the ones we used, the Rivals ones. Tina and Glider. Nothing there I need, I don't think. Matt, Motu, AEW, the unchanging Walmart AEW section. I just see the Hogan, finally, of that wave the other day. It's just a bunch of the same AEW stuff that's just been here. Very little WWE stuff, though. Very little. What's over here? That's Carol Danvers. Kai has all those. There's the fart gun. Uh, Zod. You can buy the Platinum Edition Zod on my eBay if you want to. The Chase. Uh, Thor. Titan Hero shampoo bottle. Oh, there's Jane. There's Jane. First time I've seen that back out in the Walmart in a while. There are the loofahs she put up. Which I guess are, I mean, that's very loosely an Avengers loofah. It's just blue. Oh, no, okay. That was Captain America's shield. It's like, is it Avengers just because it's blue? Oh, that speaker is really loud. Well, I don't feel encouraged that we're going to find new G.I. Joe. And that's our G.I. Joe section. I think there's not a lot of anything. A fair amount of Transformers dinosaurs well time to go to the NECA Funko section my life as a hairstylist going to the Spider-Man Duplo NECA Funko Ooh. Uh, let me get this here oh it's, it's hooked it's hooked <laughs> horsey you can get Simon uh, that is not is that the girl from Spirited Away? It is not. Why am I looking at this? That's not the NECA Funko section. NECA Funko section's over here. Xbox games. Wait, what did I just see over there? Oh, Xbox accessories. Saw a big box. I want to make sure it wasn't anything good. What could possibly be here that I need? Dr. Alan Grant. Oh, big, big, big Deku. Avatar. Pocket foldable pot protectors. I did check with Natalie. She is the Zuko, the Zuko, and the blue one she has. I need the green one, yeah. Like she has this Katara. We've got her that one, and I think there's a yeah, Zuko. I've got her that one. Uh, and then the two angs there's the Toph, I think, the green one. Honk Dot Man just hanging out. April 2-pack, 11 with the cassette tape. Uh, Tuscan Raider mask. Flash Gordon. Oh, Ultimate April. Is it going to be the good knees or the not good knees? Not good knees. And not good knees. We did give one of those away. Sign. What is that? My Hero Academia Bento Box. Oh, it's a blind bag. There's the Monk. Monk. Ang. Wow, little King George. No, no, no. Anything over here? We got shirts. Hawkeye shirt. Doctor Strange shirt. <laughs> Stone Cold. Ah, uh, no. That's a big nope. But we did in the June giveaway winners last Wednesday's hunt video. We gave away the signed April and a bunch of other prizes. As I'm filming this, there's still one person that hasn't claimed their prize. Hopefully they'll reach out or they'll get eliminated if by the time you see Friday's hunt video, they haven't reached out. Um, we'll move on, but I gotta have everybody claim so that I can send out all the prizes. So please watch the Wednesday giveaway announcement video. The winners, June winners, see if you're the winner. And uh, on and on we go. It's interesting how many of the loyal subjects best action figures that they have. Those are very well stocked at most Walmarts. 
but we don't need any right now. So uh, let's go to Target. Actually, we're gonna, one special stop on the way to Target, not for a toy though. Special stop, Dunkin' Donuts. Specifically, because they have the brown sugar cream cold brew, which my man Century, Ron, the mad collector, said I needed to try for the froth. And I'm never near a Dunkin' Donuts. Like this is kind of out of my way. It's close to this Walmart, but it's the wrong direction. It's really hard to turn into coming from the normal way I go. Since I had to go to the post office and Target and all that, we're gonna stop by and try it. <sighs> to clarify, so normally, I mean, you know how there's places that it's really hard to turn left and left into, but if you're turning right into it, it's really easy. So this is like four or five miles from my house, but normally I'm not even driving near it because I'm turning right into places. I'm talking a lot about traffic and road logistics, but so the nature of my trip, which is I turned into Walmart, then I got to turn left out of Walmart beyond this Dunkin' Donuts to go to the post office, which I just did. And then I got to go back right to go to Target means I'm driving right past the Dunkin' Donuts and can easily get in and out on my journey as opposed to if I was just going right to Target, I would never drive past this and I would turn left, fight traffic, turn left, fight traffic, turn left again, fight traffic, and would have taken 20 extra minutes, so I don't do it. I just get it from the Starbucks that I walk by on Target, but because I could, here we go. Brown sugar cream foam. You see the foam on top. Cold brew probably has about 80, 100 calories more. So like the thing I get at Starbucks is only like 80 or 90 calories. So I bet this is about 200 because of the foam, which is delicious, but is where all the calories are at. But my man Ron told me I gotta try the froth, so I'm trying the froth. Mmm. Mmm. Them extra 100 calories, they do work on the taste buds. That's good. It's so frothy. The froth is delicious. Let's go to Target. Cop skipping a jump away to Target. That is not a walkway. I don't think the new wave of G.I. Joe Storm Shadow Spirit, I don't think they've been showing up in Targets. So I think Walmarts is where people have been finding them, but never know. That's really the only thing I'm on the hunt for or anything other unique or amazing. I don't know that I'm going to find that at Walmart Target that uh, can use for a giveaway. And then we have a bunch of stuff left over from all the giveaways January through June that no one uh, wanted. Or that, you know, I, I bought more than there were winners. So I'll have to do something with all that stuff eventually. But, airplane? Airplane from Breaking Bad? I hope not. So we're slowing down on what we're buying because we're giving out some, some monies to help you out with the inflation and gas prices and all that. Try to help the collector out on your wellness journey because financial wellness is a part of it. And that's hard for all of us, especially if we keep collecting. We have to really watch our pennies so hopefully that helps so let's see what target has start off the cards this target usually it's either loaded with pokemon or completely empty and well not completely empty the bolt on v i guess people didn't want what's down here oh that's the pokemon go i got that for kaya uh, that's the new set more peko we have no individual packs. I don't know if these Pokemon Go sets, that is a new set, but I don't know if those cards are gonna come individually as well. What's in here? Uh, it's kind of a cool card, but that's probably not today's purchase. Diamond Kings, no wrestling. Never any wrestling cards anymore. Although I don't think there are wrestling cars, right? Isn't it Panini has exclusive rights for a little while and then it's gonna go to Fanatics or something like that? For the WWE cards, isn't that right? And I think those are only at Walmart maybe? And they're really expensive. I don't, know, I don't know much about it, but I feel like I've seen that. But I don't know. I don't know, I've never seen the AEW wrestling cards. Not one single time have I ever seen those. I, I probably wouldn't buy, well I might buy them to open up with friends just for video, but I went by for myself. But I think that's right. WWE, whoa, we got a chaos there right now. I don't think Ben's gonna be in charge much longer. I don't think, unfortunately, those allegations are terribly surprising, at least not to me. But still, uh, it's unfortunate for lots of people that have been involved and been taken advantage of and 
etc. So, interesting news in WWE right now. No sign. Well, there is a Skeletor. So, no sign of any masters. Mega constructs here. Oh, that Halo vehicle. Probably would have been good to pick up. This version of the NECA section, which basically always looks like this. Metalhead, Muck Everlasting. There's all the Demonas that nobody could find for a long time. Another Demona. It's uh, a whole lot of Demona going on. Any wrestlers? A lot of Batista. There's always a lot of Batista now. Look at that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine Batista. Rey Mysterio. I think these have been on clearance at a lot of stores. There's that. All those poor Landos. Make sure there's no chases. What's 30% off mean mark? No, these are the same ones that have been there. So it'll be a chase there. Emperor. Emperor. Lando, Lando, Lando. What's that? Wheel. No two stuff. 50% off faker again. They're never going to sell that faker. There's the Beast Man. Great figure. King Grayskull. Great figure. Both those really good. Oh, Beast Man up there. I'm sure they got a fair amount. I imagine they were going to be pretty easy to find these. All this Motu stuff. Masterverse. Easy to get. You don't even have to be that patient. Is there a Bing Bong? There's, there's a Squirt. Bugs Life. That pack was on sale half price last week. Jurassic World stuff, nothing we need there. Chaos Agent, nothing over there. Marvel in, oh my. That is a lot of Thor Ragnarok. Oh my goodness. How many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 14, 20, 22. 22 Thor and I, I I don't I've not seen anybody buy that figure I bought it for the giveaway then you've got one two three four five Ravagers three Gores four regular Thors four Groots so they sold out of Jane we saw Jane at the Walmart earlier so it's just Star Lord that we haven't seen today is that right Star Lord so there's that Thor Gore Jane oh and Valkyrie Star Lord and Val oh, Valkyrie, Mighty Thor. I don't see the the Valkyrie peg. She didn't have her own peg. That, that is ridiculous, right there. That is a lot of Marvel Legends on that peg. A lot of Legends on the peg. There's a lot of yelling kitties too. Coronation Star Scream, Galvatron. That big. It's a thing convert. Converting a remote control. Wonder Woman, I need the Wonder Woman that comes with Star O. I'd like to find that. I know David has seen it in the area, so hopefully I find that soon enough. Ninja Rangers Catwoman, I think she's kind of new, right? Why that's over here. I never know why those are where they are. G.I. Joe, just only Lady J classified. Uh, you can win a signed one of those. A signed one of those, Duke. You want to sign Destro. I think is the other one I did. Oh, wait, I didn't see those. Red Ninja. Oh, and a sign Major Blood. Oh, I'm sorry, Red Ninja. Oh, Calamity, Red Ninja. Come back to us. Hold your... I didn't do that. That was not me. That was already like that. That's why it fell. Don't say I destroyed that toy. That was not me. Oh, Siren. A lot of Marvel Legends at Target today. I mean, a lot of, like, five of them. But a great quantity of them. Let's go to the NECA Funko section. Well, NECA Funko, the regular NECA Funko section. Oh, what's down here? So they don't have any of the turtle stuff here now. That's all in that other section. As is the gargoyle. So it's like this is all the horror. But I'm sure that's just coincidental. Creep show. I don't know. Maybe they put the not. Well, Back to the Future is not horror. King Kong really isn't. I don't know. It's probably just random. I thought maybe they're putting the scarier stuff over here. No, nope. well, there's a turtle right there, even as I'm running my mouth. 
But I thought maybe that's what they were doing. And then putting the, the other things. Funko Backpack. The Hawkeye. I think my older sister Kimberly would like that. I wonder if that's... Oh, it's 15 no, I'm going to get a four. I might get both of those. One for Kyle, one for Kim. 15 bucks. I'll probably pick those up for the, for the ladies. We're going to see Kim when we go see Thor later today. Spawn. Witcher. All of those. There's that Naruto people enjoy. Eleven. Buttercup. Yeah, I don't know. What's this? Galactic Convention exclusive? I don't know what that means. And Big Ang. <sighs> Look at that Killmonger. That's interesting. Naruto. We actually picked up this. I picked this up on Amazon cheap. 20 bucks. Uh, for if y'all saw, hold on one moment. On the Momocon video, if you saw where Kaya went up in front of the panel and talked about her fanfic that she is writing and taking pictures of, of like a tournament of all of her figures. Like we probably all did when we were kids, but she's like writing out a story. So I'm trying to get like Figu Arts or Mayfex, probably not as much Mayfex, but Figu Arts, Amazing Yamaguchi or Figma of the anime character she's using a good version of at least one from each property so that we can really pose it out and do true figure photography and she can write her story. I think that'd be fun to do together. So like I picked up that Naruto so that he can be in the tournament, even though I have no affinity for him, but it was like 20 bucks on Amazon. So I thought it'd be good uh, so that she can continue having fun with that story and something we can do together. I think it'd be enjoyable. Quick run over here, the clearance. Oh. $34.99 luxurious Sherpa line wearable blanket. Huh. Seems like something I should get the girls. Baby soft. Oh, that one's $31.49. The comfy dream lightweight and baby blanket soft. This one is luxurious Sherpa line wearable blanket. All right. Taco Bell party pack. <laughs> okay. Is that dumbbell on clearance? I'm going to go scan these, see what they ring up as. See if I can do this one-handed. No, I cannot. You can see this is where decisions are made. Things are scanned and people say, nope. How about now? Will you scan it? Will you scan it? It's a little harder when it's not a figure. A little bit harder. Oh, I'm failing. $14.99. That's good. Big sack. It's the biggest sack that I've walked out of Target with since I bought PlayStation 5, I think. Big sack. Let's wrap this thing up. Big sack. Big sack. Uh, but no figures. So I bought... This is why you should always check the clearance and check the scanner. So I got both of those Hawkeye uh, backpacks. Originally $29.99 each. And then I got both of those wearable Sherpa hoodie things. Both originally $44.99 each. So original price $150 plus tax as out the door 97 bucks 9705 or something like that with the clearance and the red card and all that that's pretty good it's hundred dollars didn't plan on spending but that's why you look at clearance uh so the backpacks kim kimberly my older sister very 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 big hawkeye fans her favorite avenger favorite marvel character and she also likes kate she likes the matt fraction um comic run that the show was based on pizza dog all of that she's a big fan uh, so I think she'll like that backpack. Hopefully she doesn't already have it. I got one for Kaya too. Kaya also really liked it. Kaya, you know, like right now Miss Marvel is on. I know a lot of folks, it's not their thing. Honestly, it's not. I, I don't love that show. It, it's just fine. Uh, but she loves it. She's read those Miss Marvel comics. Uh, I think a lot of what they're doing with these new Avengers, young Avengers, whatever, like Jane, um, Kay Bishop, uh, Miss Marvel, Kamala Khan, uh, Miles, if he shows up in Marvel. That's for the younger audience. It's its just not for us 40-year-olds. It's for the younger audience, and that's thats good because they've got to build the next wave of people that will have nostalgia and want to buy things and so forth. So she's really enjoying it, which makes me enjoy it. It makes me happy because it makes her happy, even if it's not, you know, the same thing that Captain America Winter Soldier was. We're going to see Thor today. You'll see that on Friday's episode. We're going to go on a hunt with Victoria and Kaya and Natalie a quick hunt and we'll see the movie um we'll talk more about that in the next but we're going to see that today and uh you know everybody i think people don't necessarily like it and they say it's just a comedy it's not a, a big action movie but i mean that's what ragnarok kind of was it had some great action moments but that's how they you know helped revive thor for a lot of people is made him funny 
Um, I don't know, you know, I'll just save my opinion until I see it, but I'm excited to see it. I mean, but you know, a lot of stuff doesn't have to be for us, especially with Disney and control. It's going to be for younger audiences, which is good. We should be happy that our kids get to enjoy these things too. And not just watching Twitch and, and YouTube and, and they actually get to enjoy big IPs that they can buy merchandise from. They can enjoy and uh, have nostalgia for, you know, I don't know how much nostalgia Kaya likes to watch certain YouTubers playing Minecraft. I don't know how you can have nostalgia for that one day. Like there's no product, there's no IP. Those people will just be retired people one day. They won't be, you know, something you can buy merchandise from. So, I, you know, I, I like it that she's into some of these things and these, these things are geared toward her. So anyway, Kimberly has been helping Kai. Kimberly is very good at crafts and sewing and so forth. My older sister, Kimberly. And she's come over and had a couple craft days with Kai during the summer. And Kai is trying to make her own costume. She's going to be one of the gems from Steven Universe. Maybe Opal? I don't remember. But... Uh, she's making her own costume from scratch, ground up, sewing it, all of that to where maybe to Dragon Con if she gets it done in the next two months, probably more likely maybe Anime Week in Atlanta at uh, Halloween time or Thanksgiving time, something like that. But she wants to make it and Kimberly's helping her. So I thought it would be nice for Kaya to be able to give this to Kimberly uh, to thank her. Here, you know, here's a cool Hawkeye backpack and then Kaya will have a matching one. That way they could wear them when they go to the craft store or things like that. I think that they would enjoy that. So I'm gonna let Kai give it to Kimberly later today. And then I got the girls, those Sherpa blankets, because like right now it's so hot here, right? And I'm spending, I mean, my power bill is like $400 a month trying to keep the house cool. And that's just so we don't, like I, I don't sweat to death at night. And they come in the house, they come in the living room and they're like freezing, wrapped up in blankets. I'm like, it's 110 degrees. Why you got a hoodie on a blanket? Y'all gonna do that, I'm just gonna leave the air conditioner off and not pay $400 a month. I'll just be naked. You know, I'll just be naked and not pay $400 a month. I'm kidding, of course. But so I got them those because maybe that'll help them. And then when it gets cold, they get even colder. So I don't know. I've never, I, I think it looks like it was on Shark Tank. Um, it seems like a thing they would like to wear around the house. So we'll see. But, you know, good price, opportunity to take advantage. So always check your clearance and think about the, th the other people in your life. So none of this is for me. It's all stuff I'm giving away to the people that I love in my life, uh, which is pretty common for me. Anyway, uh, next, on Friday, you'll see uh, some more hunting. Uh, from this same day, I'll be wearing the same shirt. And I probably wore the same shirt in several videos. Uh, I, a lot of what I'm having to do is, is spend the weekend getting the videos ready. Because uh, work, like I've mentioned, has been really, really challenging, really busy for me, occupying 11, 12 hours. It's hard for me to even get to night workouts anymore, and those happen at 7.45 at night. Uh, it's just been a lot in my new role, so I'm, I'm trying to keep the content flowing, continue to show that you can be committed to beat up fit. I'm, you know, I'm still getting in workouts. My diet's not great, but it's improved in July. I'm going to have a good month of July. Um, you can be a good father. You can be a good partner. You can be a good brother or sister or a father, a mother, daughter, whatever, um, and make the content you want to make, enjoy your hobby, go to things, we're seeing all the movies, we're going to conventions, and we're still doing really well at work. It just takes a lot of effort, determination. So I'm trying to lead by example and show you that uh, you don't have to let another area suffer to stay committed to something else. So I'm trying to stay strong, but it requires adapting, right? I got to move my schedule around to try to keep the content flowing. That's my goal. Hope it's helping encourage you. So many people tell me the videos help, the positivity helps. I try to keep it going. I know we didn't buy anything in our world today, but we bought stuff for the girls, which is, to me, always more important. So I will see you on Friday where we'll talk about Thor, we'll go on a hunt, and then you'll get more antics with Steve on Sunday's Dub Life. And uh, we'll go from there. Please let me know if you like the top 10 videos. Uh, I'd like to start making you know one or two of those a month if there are ideas people have for me to talk about. If you don't want it, don't like it, it's fine. You don't have to comment anything. But if you do like it, let me know. Let me know some topics you'd like to see in the top 10s. And you can go back and comment on those two top 10 videos from last week. All right, talk to you next time. Squeeze it.